technology is everywhere. There is a competition globally for who can set the standards. We see a very market-driven model in the United States, a very state-driven model in China. The stakes are high, the speed is high, so Europe has to double down. So it is important that we look beyond our borders and see how standards are set through regulation, but also through how technology is built, designed and works itself. Why will norms and standards be the uh, silver bullet of tomorrow's EU in the world? I don't think we need new rules and new norms and new laws, but we do have to make sure that laws that we agree on, principles that we care about, the democracy that we cherish, is also preserved when there's technological disruption. So think about principles like freedom of expression or exceptions to the freedom of expression. There are a lot of freedoms that are actually not controversial. And so we have to make sure that those rights apply online and that in new areas, like for example, the escalation of conflict that is increasingly digital, that we have efforts to de-escalate, to make sure that there are some norms and some principles between countries that agree, between maybe companies that agree, to make sure that we don't see the law of the jungle prevailing. What should Europe do to become the world leader in governing technology globally? So we often hear people celebrating the fact that Europe is a super regulator. Data protection rules or net neutrality rules, a cybersecurity law, ways in which the rights that we care about, the values and the fundamental freedoms of people are preserved also in the digital domain. Artificial intelligence is a technology that affects every dimension of human life. How can we ensure that it actually benefits the human in our societies? One of the core questions I believe we need to answer is how much risk are we willing to take? How much responsibility are we willing to outsource to algorithms and systems that have no people looking at them from A to Z? The machine learning and the algorithms can come up with their own solutions. Do we want a society where these programs tell us everything we need to know or do we really want to put human beings at the heart of democracy, at the heart of the public service? Can digital technology help us overcome human rights violations and monitor them? Well, I think it's very important that human rights lawyers are focusing on technology and working towards making it serve justice. There's other questions about justice of how technologies might discriminate ethnic minorities that have seen real big mistakes in, in machine learning and artificial intelligence programs, but also women who've been excluded of, of hiring processes that were driven by artificial intelligence. The principle that we want to preserve is justice and, and close to that is also accountability. If somebody violates the law, uh, whether it's a person or a machine, there should be accountability. Mm -hmm.